These two raids show the difficulty of that strategy. One team gets its man, the other does not, both in high-risk operations. That said, a U.S. official told me today emphatically the U.S. does not see the Somalia operation as a failure. Rather, Wolf, he told me it shows that we can, quote, knock on their door anywhere in the world, at least show that we can get eyes on them and guns on them very quickly. It also shows a lot about this president. President, uh, he had to authorize both of these raids at the presidential level, and it, it basically says to terrorists out there, maybe 15 years, 15 years since the U.S. embassies in Tanzania and Kenya were destroyed and a lot of people were killed. But the U.S. is going to come and get you. So just be aware of that. It sends a powerful message of where this president is coming from. No question. Bin Laden caught 10 years after 9-11. But these are very risky operations, too. He'll put boots on the ground, maybe not tens of thousands, but a SEAL Team 6 with the life and limit risk. And I think he also yeah. is trying to send a message to Ayman al-Zawahiri, the new leader of al-Qaeda, used to be the number two under sure. bin Laden and others, especially those terrorists who killed the U.S. ambassador, Chris Stevens and yeah. Benghazi and three other Americans. The U.S. is going to be patient. The U.S. is watching. Just be ready. Uh, be nervous the rest of your life because the U.S. is, is not going to forget be in order to either capture or assume that was part of the thinking. I they send a very powerful message, and that's what they're saying now. They got one man, they didn't get the other, but they've been successful in sending that message. Yeah, I, I, yeah. as soon as I heard that the president mm -hmm. authorized these two missions, especially mm -hmm. to get uh, a Libby 15 years after that, I thought uh, this president was out channeling, channeling in Golda Meir, mm -hmm. the late Israeli prime minister, after the Munich Olympic massacre. Sure. She called in all of her security commanders and said, Whatever it takes, no matter how long, you will find and either capture or kill those responsible for killing those Israeli athletes. The movie, you know, oh, Munich, sure. was a result of, of was, a, was depicted yeah. all of that. I, I, I immediately said to myself, well, uh, this president uh, has got that uh, Golda Meir instinct in him as well. Yeah. Lots of movie material here, too. Yeah, yeah. I think you're right. Yeah. All right thanks very Thank much, you. Jim Shudo reporting. Coming up.